Welcome to What's New in Camtasia 2018. Camtasia 2018 is the latest major upgrade from TechSmith and it was released on June 19th, 2018. In this video series, I'll walk you through everything you need to know about the new features and functions with tips and tricks to get up to speed quickly with Camtasia 2018 on the Windows platform. And I'll also give you the answer to the most frequent question I get asked, is the upgrade worth the price? As we'll see, Camtasia 2018 is remarkably similar to Camtasia 9. In fact, almost everything in the user interface works the same except for the few notable differences that I'll cover. So this video series is not meant to be a complete Camtasia training course for this new version, but rather an addendum to our full Camtasia Mastery 9 training and resource course. Put the two together and you'll be all set. Let's get started. There are two areas that the folks at TechSmith have focused on in Camtasia 2018. Speed and consistency. I'll call these under the hood, the system performance stuff you can't really see or touch, and in your face, new tools and features we can see and use in the editing program. In upcoming modules, we'll talk about new features and user interface improvements including new and revamped library, assets to go with it, and even more assets available online, but for an extra fee, a new theming feature to provide consistency for colors, callouts, and fonts, two pretty cool new behaviors, and a Camtasia certification program. Let's start with speed and performance. Faster rendering. TechSmith claims that Camtasia 2018 will render or produce your video project to the final video file result up to 50% faster. While that sounds impressive, the results you'll actually experience depend to a large degree on your hardware and the length and complexity of your projects. In my informal and very unscientific testing, I don't see the 50% improvement but I'm also running on a pretty monster video production box already optimized for video performance. And it's also worth noting, I run on Windows 7, and TechSmith says the best rendering performance gains are seen on Windows 10. So your results may and probably will vary, but still this is a very welcome new feature. Better editing and preview performance. One thing that might make you nuts in prior versions of Camtasia is how jerky scrubbing and previewing can be during the editing process. Camtasia 2018 boasts smoother and better performance when moving the playhead through time manually, called scrubbing, and also when previewing your work. Again, this is very subject to your hardware, especially your graphics card, which makes a huge difference even in Camtasia 9. While this might not seem like a big deal, it's improvements like this that help bring Camtasia up to the levels of more expensive and complex video editors. 60 frames per second editing and producing. Before we close the hood, another much requested system feature has been added the ability to edit and produce with 60 frames per second content. This is especially useful for folks wanting the smoothness of 60 FPS camera video. You can set your project to be 60 FPS in the project settings window under frame rate. And that setting will be displayed in the player controls area. And here's a caveat. Gamers recording their gameplay would love to capture their screens at 60 frames per second, but while Camtasia Studio can now import, edit, and produce 60 FPS video content, the Camtasia 2018 recorder cannot currently capture at the higher 60 frames per second. <gasps> yeah, that's a bummer. Another thing to note is that when it comes time to produce your 60 frames per second video, selecting any of the production presets will not result in the higher frame rate final video. To do that, you need to choose Custom Production Settings and set the video settings frame rate to 60. Since this is a custom video production 
By default, it will include the Camtasia Smart Player controller. If you just want an MP4 video file, uncheck the Produce with Controller box, select your video size and audio options, and continue. If you work with and produce a lot of 60 frame per second videos, it may be worthwhile creating a quick custom production preset to eliminate those manual steps. The Mac version now has a library and assets can be imported and exported between 2018 versions as can recording files and project files. There also is a new multi-language install. When you go to install 2018, you'll have the option to choose which language version you want to install. This is nice as opposed to having to download a Spanish version and install it or a German version and so on. In the next video, we'll start getting into the user interface stuff and take a look at the new Camtasia library. Thanks and I'll see you then.